Hardy came to the realization that they wanted to do this because the need for every industry is pretty big. And a lot of people in our industry here that Hardy represents, some people are big enough to have, excuse me, some people are big enough to have their own HR departments, um, some people are big enough to have a dedicated HR person, but not a whole team of HR people, and everybody in the industry just needed more help. The way I fell into it is that I am both a chief human resources officer and also a practicing labor and employment lawyer. And it's, as you are giving advice about certain HR matters, you need to be able to tell the member what could happen down the road litigation-wise. So I think that's why Hardy was looking for the combination lawyer-HR person. The discipline has just gotten huge, and so has the Hardy organization. And it's something that, with a lot of businesses, it's the last thing you tend to because it isn't sales, and everybody is sales-driven. And the, the, the whole industry is now coming to, yeah, we need to be a little more proactive. I can tell you what it's like from both of our sides. From my side, it's very interesting because I hear from all different kinds of situations. And it's fun for me because I have to catch the organization's culture on the fly so I can give them advice that fits within the culture that they have. So that's kind of the fun part for me. Um, from the member's perspective, it is like picking up the phone and calling somebody down the hall and saying, here's what's going on, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background, and here's what members really wanna know from me. What would you do? And what they mean is understanding what you understand about the law and what you understand about human resources. What would you do if this situation were affecting your bottom line? And they get an answer. I'm a very, very practical HR person and lawyer, and I don't talk to people about, well, you know, the US Supreme Court last year in a 5-4 split, they don't care about that. It's just, here's what I would do and why. Here's the safest way to go. Here's a riskier but faster way to go. Let's talk about works best, what will work best for you as a business decision. Members get a starter pack of 10 policies that I wrote myself, and I have great, <clears throat> excuse me, great confidence in these policies because I have litigated cases where the policies weren't written very well. So <clears throat> these are written to serve today and protect for tomorrow, if you will. We review handbooks. We do release and separation agreements for people who are gonna um, say goodbye to an employee. We talk all through whatever the employment problem is and decide what the best course of action is. Sometimes they need another kind of a professional and we will, I have a great paralegal, and she will research that for our members. <clears throat> for example, I have somebody now that I need to find an outplacement service for in a particular area of the country. And my paralegal will research that and will be able to tell the subscriber, here's some to try. You know, they're, they're nobody I know personally, but here's some for you to try in your area to enhance a separation package. Pretty much anything your HR department would do for you. There is a wonderful team, and I know that because I trained them myself. So I have great pride in this team. We have four labor and employment lawyers, and we all four are 100% dedicated to labor and employment law. <clears throat> and with labor and employment law comes litigation. Labor and employment lawyers are litigators. So we know what's gonna happen on the downside of an employment relationship gone wrong because we've defended people in those actions. So we have the four of us, we have my legal assistant who's kind of a gatekeeper and she can also do a lot of clerical things for our members. There's obviously some things that we couldn't, a member couldn't ask a clerical person in his organization to do. So she does that for us and we have a great paralegal. She. Um, drafts basic documents that we then tweak and she does this extra research for us.